And to your right side is a male or bull elephant. The one to the right is Sangwira. He is 12 years old, born and raised here in the night safari. Now, although Sangwira has a cute pair of tusks, none of these three females to your left have any at all. That's because for Asian elephants, only the males could grow them. Unlike their African counterparts, for both female and male could grow these ivory parts. The elephant's trunk is a fusion of the upper lip and the nose. It is sensitive enough to pick a single blade of grass and yet strong enough to rip the branches off a tree. Elephants use their trunks for breathing, smelling, communicating via touch, smell and sound, picking up things, drawing water, covering themselves with mud or sand, and the list goes on. To the right side is another bull elephant. He actually happens to be the father of Sangwira. His name is Chao Wang. Chao Wang was rescued as a orphan elephant by the Malaysian Wildlife Authorities near Perak Chao Wang River. Hence his name. On to the right side, it's a flock of greater flamingos. The greater flamingos are the tallest of all flamingo species and they could grow to a height of at least five feet. Look carefully at the legs. The joint in the knee about halfway up is actually their ankle. Flamingos, like most birds, often stand on one foot and they do this to conserve their body heat and to keep their foot warm. And we're now slowly inching towards the den of the majestic Asian lions. Lions are the only true social felines. They live in groups called prides. And one pride consists of one to two males, two to five females, and their cubs. The females specialize in hunting, while the adult males protect the pride and the territory. Squabbles are common at the lion's dining area. As the adult males always get the lion's share first, but the lionesses and their cubs wait for the measly portion. When resting, lions usually ignore the presence of human beings, making them easy targets for hunting and poaching. The Asian lions of the Gear Forest of India are highly endangered. There are only about 300 of these Asian lions in the wild today. The time is 11.02, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the last good trams for the night. If especially this is your first time to be in the tram journey, then I would encourage you to just stay on and complete the rest of our tour. They are the Marcos. Matured males have beautiful spiral horns that could go to a length of 1.65 meters along its curves. If you're wondering how these animals effortlessly conquer the undulating slopes of the Himalayas, the secret lies in their slip resistant and shock absorbent hooves. Next to the Marcos are the Mouflons. They are the smallest of all the mountain sheep species. They are also thought to be one of the ancestors of the modern sheep breeds. On either side are the swamp deer or the barasinga. The word barasinga means 12 points in Hindi. And this refers to the number of branches found in the antlers of the adult males. And uh, up ahead, uh, to your left, are two tall white birds with the black tail feathers. They are the red crowned cranes or the Manchurian cranes. In Asia, they represent long life and happiness. It's the striped hyenas, the only species of hyenas found in Asia. 
They are predominantly scavengers. Their diets consist mainly of carrion and human refuse. And look at the way they move about. The hind legs are shorter than their forelegs, a design that's supposed to enhance their long distance running ability. When threatened by the enemies, the striped hyena can erect the long hair on its mane and make it appear 38% bigger than its original size. But this doesn't work. These crafty creatures simply play dead. Graphical plates. I am referring to the giraffes. Giraffes can easily attain an average height of at least six meters. And because of that, these voluntary watchtowers act as a predator warning system to many other animals in the savannas. Now also in the background are the zebras. Each zebra has its unique stripe pattern, just like human fingerprints. When zebras are together, the stripes mislead their predators from singling out one zebra to chase. And lastly, the white antelope in the background are known as the scimitar horned oryx. When seen from the side, they appear to only have one horn. But some experts believe they are the origin of the legendary unicorn. But unfortunately, those tusks go through the top of the flesh of their snouts. Most females find the males attractive and desirable due to these adornments. It's the African lion. Aside from the fact that African lions are generally larger than their Asian counterparts, notice that the mane is thicker, more prominent, and well-groomed. African lions also lack the significant skin fold along the belly, which could only be observed among the Asian lions. The lion is the only big cat with the mane, and the mane serves as a signal to other males. The longer the mane, the stronger and healthier the adult male. <laughs> Up around this habitat to your right side are the red dolls or the Asian wild dogs. They live and hunt in packs of up to 20 individuals. Here's some hunters with excellent stamina. They can run, jump and swim very well. 